Hey guys, Mara here. So today's video is going to be a huge, massive makeup haul. I look a little bit crazy today, don't mind my hair. This is like second day hair. Um, I just left it all natural today. I didn't really care, you know, whatever. I was just going with the flow today. And I just wanted to sit down with you guys and film. I have been collecting some of this stuff for a quite a while, probably one to two months worth of things that I've hauled, things that I've had and kept in quarantine because I was like, I don't want to use them yet. I want to do first impressions on them. So that's what I'm doing today. I decided to do a haul, but not only do a haul, I wanted to try some of these products for the first time and give you guys my first impressions. So I have brand new products that I haven't tried before. I have some repurchases that I'll talk about. I shopped online, I went to Ulta, I went to the drugstore, I went to Walmart, I went pretty much everywhere that sells makeup and just picked up things here and there and I've saved them to share with you guys in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy the setup of this video, it's a little bit crazy, it's the first time I've ever done a video like this, so please excuse my lack of organization, if you will, throughout the video. Um, Sorry about my crazy makeup look today, it's just from what I have available to me from trying out these new products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you do and if you want to see more like this, leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and let's just jump right into this makeup haul. Oh hi kitty, look who came to visit me. Oh my buddy. I think I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my Ulta bag first. Not everything in this bag is from Ulta, but I just put everything in one bag. Okay, so one of the things I'm most excited for that I hauled is this guy right here. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Everybody on YouTube is talking about this concealer. I looked for this concealer everywhere I went. I went to an Ulta. I went to two different Altas and they were sold out and then I looked online and they were sold out online and then I went to Tarte's website and they were sold out there. So I picked this little guy up whenever I was there just a few days ago and I saw that it was in stock and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to pick it up. So I am, this is the shade light. This was the only one they had. I probably could get away with fair too, but hey, I just got what they had. And this is, yeah, a concealer. It, I would have the box except my dog got a hold of the box and chewed it up so I just have the two. So I'm just going to show you guys my first impressions of it here. I'm just going to apply it. So right off the bat, um, it really blended out really smoothly and really nicely. This concealer, um, let me look a little bit closer, I'll bring myself in a little bit closer. I like how it really brightened up my under eye. I don't know if you guys can tell from the previous clip, but it has really brightened up my under eye. It's not caking up under my eyes, which I am all about with concealer. I hate whenever concealers feel cakey and thick, like that they're going to immediately crease. But now that I have that on, I am going to go ahead and go into my next product. Let me find it here. This is the It Cosmetics 5 by Pores Pressed Powder. It's their translucent powder. It's for poreless finish airbrush pressed powder. And um, I heard Kathleen Light talking about this in one of her videos, actually a couple of her videos. And then I saw her tweet that this is really good for large pores. I don't have exceptionally large pores, but I do get them like right here where I produce oil. I typically have dry skin so I don't have to worry about it, but I wanted a nice powder for whenever my pores are a little bit more accentuated. This is what it looks like right here, and I'm just going to take my Real Techniques blush brush. This is one of my favorite brushes to use to set my under eye, and I'm just going to set that Tarte concealer down. I really like the finish of this powder. It gives a very natural, like, you can't really tell that I have powder on, which I actually really, really like with powders. So um, I will try it some more and maybe let you guys know in a future video how I feel about it after I've used it a few times. But first impression, I really like this. Crap, 
This is what I wanted to put underneath my concealer today. This is the NYX Hydra Touch Brightener Stick, I guess. Um, brightening Pencil. This is what it looks like. I got the pink shade. It's for fair colors. I believe they had a yellow shade and an peachy orangey shade for a little bit deeper skin tones. This is the pencil right here and oh that is really nice. That's really smooth. You can see that it is very pink and light so I think it's going to really help with my dark under eye circles that I struggle with. Oh with my Tarte Shape Tape purchase I got this free little guy right here from Tarte. Uh, lights, camera, lashes, mascara, and then I also got this little glossy lip paint. The next two things I got are these right here. These are the Ofra liquid lipsticks. They're long-lasting liquid lipsticks. I got Miami Fever because, hello, I love Kathleen Lights. And I also got Sao Paulo because I've heard so many YouTubers talk about this nude and that it is like the perfect nude. So I got it. I actually used it already in one of my tutorials. Yeah, it was my daytime smoky eye. I can link that video down below for you guys. Skin tone, this is Sao Paulo. And this is Miami Fever. I'm really excited for this one for the fall. Okay, so moving right along. I actually found this stuff at TJ Maxx, but I found this Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. This is in the shade Canary, and I was on the hunt for a yellow eyeliner, especially for summer, but I mean, it's almost the end of summer. It is kind of the end of summer, but I still wanted one I can use maybe next year, but mine is not working. Ah! Rip off! Oh, there it goes, there it goes. But I will swatch it. I love these liquid or these eyeliners by Stila because they are very long lasting. Oh wait, no. More from TJ Maxx. I have these two blushes right here. These are Kat Von D blushes. This one, it's the shade and light blushes. And this is Sid and Nancy. It is a really pretty pink toned blush. It has a light pink and a dark pink. Really beautiful. And then there is this one that is Hansel and Gretel, and it's a more warm peachy kind of blush, which I love these, these blushes, these peachy kind of blushes. So I'm excited to use those. They're a little bit patchy whenever I swatch them. When I blended it out, it was a little bit better. Let me get the light shade. This is Hansel and Gretel. The light shade's really beautiful. It's more like a nude blush. So maybe mixed together, they will be really pretty. Okay, so more for the face. I have two more Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. If you know or have watched any of my channel, I am obsessed with the Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. I love Apricot in the Middle and Rosé Champagne. Um, these two are just two more that I decided to pick up. This is Pearlescent Pink. It's a it's a really pretty multi, eh, not really multi-dimensional glitter, but it does have glitter in there. Um, the formula of these are just amazing. Let me just swatch it here. They are so much smoother than those Kat Von D ones. Um, this one does have, it kind of reminds me of like NARS Orgasm Blush. It's very beautiful. It has those little shimmers in it. Um, this would have been perfect for summer. I don't know why I'm just not picking it up, but hey, there's always next year, right? And then this one is in the shade Mellow Wine. It's a really pretty, like, deep pink wine shade. And I will swatch this one as well. Oh. This one is very, very highly pigmented. That's going to take a very light hand if you're using it on your face. That one is like, wow, wowza. Okay. Digging deeper, I have a couple things for the lips. Um, I have, I picked up this Rimmel lipstick, the Kate Nudes, and this is the shade 45. It's this really pretty nude lip gloss, or lip, lipstick. I 
I also picked up this Flower Beauty Lip Lacquer. This is in the shade Pink About You. I actually heard Kathleen Lights talking about this again. Look at me being loving Kathleen Lights. But this is what it looks like. It has a nice little applicator. And I'm just going to apply this right on top of my lipstick that I applied. But this is a really nice like lipstick lip topper especially for pinks and nudes because it's that like opaque pinky lip gloss and it's not very sticky it's actually very comfortable on the lips and I'm pretty picky about my lip gloss and then I picked up these you know that I am obsessed with the Almay color plus care liquid lip balms these are the best drugstore lip glosses in my opinion I'm going to apply it this is the shade Truffle Kiss. I got this because it's a really nice, like, it almost complements, it almost complements Miami Fever. It's a little bit deeper, but it's a gloss, so it might look beautiful over top of Miami Fever. Um, but let me just apply this. And I highly, highly recommend these if you're looking for a good lip gloss from the drugstore. I picked up this from Ulta. Ugh. That must have been a cat hair. Ugh. Okay, so I picked up this from Ulta. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Pure. Pure nude, if I could speak. Be my highlight. This is number 10. This is what it looks like. I gouged mine because I dropped it in the store and then I like it popped open and then I like shoved my finger into it like a moron. But anyways, this is what it looks like. I got this again from recommendation from Kathleen Lights, and I will swatch it here for you. This is what it looks like. This is beautiful. I can't tell you how beautiful this is. I hope my camera does it justice, but for a, I think this was $4.99, I believe, $4.99, I think. For five bucks, you're getting an amazing highlight. Okay, so I have a couple nail polishes here. Actually, I have seven nail polishes. I kind of want a little nail polish crazy, but I wanted to get some colors that were appropriate for fall and just put me in that fall mood. I'm really into like nice deep oranges and purples right now. So I picked up a few colors. I will show you them. These colors right here, they are all beautiful. This one right here is in the shade It's a Piazza Cake. This is Yank My Doodle by OPI. It is beautiful. Please don't mind my chip nail polish, by the way, because I could not find my nail polish remover at all, and I was going to take it off, but I decided I wanted to film. This is this deep red shade in Lost on Lomb Lombard. I guess. This is Squeaker of the House. This is a beautiful, like, taupey gray brown shade. It is so beautiful. I love these shades. It's so putting me in the mood for fall. And then I picked up this one at Rite Aid. This is one of the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure Nail Polishes. This is in the shade Pat on the Black. I wanted, like, a nice deep plum wine shade. I also picked up this at my a local department store. It's called Peebles. I don't know if you guys have that store where you're from, but these are the Miracle Gel. This is the two pack. Um, this is in the shade Take the Plunge. This is a nice deep royal blue and then I got the top coat because I didn't have it so that came with that. I got some Makeup Geek shadows, which I am absolutely in love with. I got these two right here, some nice oranges, put me again, this just takes me to fall. This is the shade Poppy, it's a really pretty like vibrant orange, and then this is the shade Peach Smoothie, which I hear a lot of people talking about. So those are the two shades right there, I think this is beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how I wear these two shades by Makeup Geek. I'm going to take my, actually, um, I wanted to let you know that I took a little bit of that concealer up onto my eyelid just to act as a little bit of the shape tape concealer up onto my eyelids to act as a base. And then I'm going to take this fluffy Morphe brush, it's the M441, it's my favorite crease brush, and I'm just going to lightly dip into Peach Smoothie and I'm going to buff this right into my crease.
Okay, then for Poppy, I'm going to take this more dense little fluffy brush by Morphe, it's the M433, and I'm going to lightly, lightly dip into Poppy and tap off the excess, and then I'm going to just pat this right on the outer part of my eye. So then I'm going to take on this pencil brush by Morphe, it's the M431, I'm just going to dip right into Poppy and very, with a very light hand, I'm just going to drag a little bit on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take that same pencil brush and dip into Peach Smoothie and I'm going to just smoke out that bottom just to make it all look even. Okay, so that is how I would wear Peach Smoothie and Poppy. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of other ways that I'm going to be using them and how that other people have used them, but that is how I just came up with a way to use them right off the bat from, uh, from opening the package. So my first impressions, they're very blendable. They are very pigmented. They don't leave any harsh lines. Like I didn't really have to do much blending. Like I just kind of dusted Peach Smoothie into the crease and it kind of blended itself. Oh. Yeah, that is how I would typically wear these two shades. Okay, now on to my big box here. I don't really have as much as you may think in here, but um, I'm just going to pull out the first of the things that I see. I got this at TJ Maxx. This is a Philosophy body wash. I love the Philosophy body washes. They smell amazing. This one is, a sh is in the scent Beach Girl. And it says it smells like orange slush. Moving right along, the next... Thing I have is this Real Techniques setting brush. Um, I saw some people using this for highlighting and things like that, so I decided to pick it up. I don't know why I didn't pick this up. I have like all the Real Techniques brushes, but I love Real Techniques brushes. They are probably my number one holy grail brush. And the next thing is this right here. This is the Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette. I love this. I, of course, as soon as I bought it, I had to open it and try it out. That These two shades here, Nightlight and Starlight, are beyond beautiful like I love these I have gotten compliments already from wearing this on my face and then sunlight is a beautiful eyeshadow on me like I love this I'm actually gonna apply it as an eyeshadow today so you guys can see but I'm going to go ahead and dust this one is probably my favorite this is starlight it's the pinky shade and I'm just going to dust this on my cheekbones Okay, so as you can see, look at that glow. Like, it is stunning. Like, these are so beautiful for light and fair skin tones. Like, I don't know why people were giving her such a hard time. But I'm going to take a little bit of night light. I'm just going to dust that right on top. So, look at that stunning glow. Like, th these are beautiful highlights. Look at that. Like, they are beautiful. Let me just swatch them here for you. So this one's night light, this one's starlight, and this one's sunlight. And they are stunning. Highly, highly recommend the Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette by Makeup in collaboration with Makeup Geek. I'm going to use this e.l.f. C brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of this shade right here, this sunlight shade that everyone is like crying about because they think it's too dark, but I'm going to show you how you can use it. Okay, so if you see on my eyelids, I have applied the Kathleen Lights Sunlight shade on my eyelids. So if you guys want to see a tutorial with me using this palette and using it um, as highlighter and also as an eyeshadow, particularly this shade right here, please leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to do that for you guys. I want to play with it maybe on top of blacks and whites just to see what's really going to make it pop. 
Okay, so the lip product I got was this matte lip color in the shade Nearly Nude. I already have it in um, natural, but these are a really nice shape. I love that there's like a tip, and then down here there is a sharpener, so you can sharpen it on the go. I'm going to swatch it. Oh, that is a really pretty nude. That's the shade right there, and then I'm going to apply it to my lips. Okay, so that is nearly nude. I have to say that I do like my natural one better. I don't know, this one's a little bit more patchy whenever I want to put it on. The next things I have here are the e.l.f. Baked Blush in the shade Pink Tastic. This is what it looks like. It is clearly not a blush, but I will swatch it here. It's not as smooth as the Essence one that I already hauled, but um, Ooh, it's really pretty. It's a little bit more pinky than the Essence one, but it kind of gives that same like sheen. The next thing I got is this e.l.f. blush, their studio blush. Normally these are hit or miss for me. This is in the shade Peachy Keen. It's a really pretty peach nudie type of blush. Um, I was looking for maybe a dupe for NARS Madly that I've heard a lot of people love. So I'm going to swatch it here for you. And that is the color right here. It's a really pretty nude pink, and I'm also going to apply this one to my face. I love this. Look at this color. I am really impressed. I was really hesitant to buy this because I've heard some people be like, oh no, like we hate the studio blushes. And I was like, oh, I've had some in the past that I just don't like. But I love this tone. I love this color. This is perfect for like a no makeup makeup look. Um, kind of what I'm doing today. I don't know. I didn't really mean for this to happen, but it is kind of turning into like a no makeup makeup look. Um, the next thing I have is this Shimmering Facial Whip. This is in the shade Spotlight. Um, I haven't heard a lot about these, but I just wanted and figured I'd give it a shot. Um, as you can see, it's like this like whipped, well, liquidy type of highlight. And that's what it looks like right there. Upon, this, upon looking at the swatch, it's very reflective. It's very like intense white. Um, it's a little bit sticky, which kind of scares me because I don't want to feel, I don't want it to feel heavy on the skin. Okay, so I don't know why I didn't think of this, but I'm going to take this little Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascara that I got as my free gift for the shape, buying the Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm going to apply this to my lashes and let you guys know what I think of it. Okay, so... After I applied it, actually as I was applying it, I was like, wow, this mascara goes on so easily. It's not clumpy at all, but it gave me really nice volume and really nice nice length. I'm going to keep using this and see how I feel about it. Maybe I'll use it in an upcoming video. Let me know in the comments down below. If there's any products that you want to see in a makeup tutorial or anything like that. But yeah, um... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. That completes this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the way I did it with like applying products to my face to see if I'm gonna like them and what my first impressions were. Leave me a comment down below and leave me some feedback, what you guys thought. Do you like that idea? Do you just like to look at the products? Do you like the first impressions? Let me know what you think, what you wanna see. Um, yeah, so that completes this video. See you guys.